Hey guys, I want to do a new video uh, for a couple reasons. One being that I just flashed the newest version of the uh, Tilt to ROM uh, for Sense 2.5, and I have to say, by far the most stable beta ROM I've installed yet. I've got everything 100% working, very little lag. Um, it's just, it's a rave. This, I don't think I'm going to change from this unless there's something revolutionary in the next build. Uh, because right, right as of now, I have everything working great. The only thing that's different is, um, by default, the Documents tab is disabled. And, unfortunately, if you liked it, the Manila TV tab is now gone. Uh, you can't enable it through the settings. So it's just, it's gone for now until um, it comes back either in the next build or in a cab. So what I really wanted to show you guys was this. Now, everyone says how amazing HTC devices would be running Android. Well, I've gone and installed Android. So, here goes. Now, the one thing I did notice was that when in the Android build, the battery doesn't give back proper feedback. So, uh, if you plan on using the Android OS for any extended period of time, make sure uh, it's your phone is fully charged before you take it out because I don't know. Well, this is actually my first reboot into the OS. So maybe the battery information will have changed uh, to the proper current information, or maybe not. Um, so while it's booting, I'm going to read off some things that do not work in this um, version that I'm running right now. As of now, obviously the LCD works. Um, the digitizer, meaning the touch screen, works. Um, the QWERTY keyboard works. Um, the front keys work while they do not illuminate. And there it's booting. You can see the Nexus 1 logo. Uh, the volume keys work. The stylus sensor works. And the stylus sensor actually, because the accelerometer doesn't work in the phone, they programmed it so when you pull your stylus out, it will rotate the display. Um, the light sensor does not work, proximity sensor does not work, the new version of this build, the zoom slider works, um, front facing camera, if it has it, it does not work, the rear camera does not work, the LEDs, which these LEDs and the, I guess the top LED here does not work, uh, Wi-Fi does not work, if you enable it, it will crash and do a soft reset back into Windows Mobile. Uh, Bluetooth does not work. FM radio does not work. Voice calls work. Haven't tested it though. Oh, and there the device booted. Uh, just finishing up here. 2G, 3G data work. SMS and MMS works. Um, the SD controller works because it's actually running off the SD card. It's not off the internal memory. Um, Power saving does not work. Battery control does not work. The front speaker works. Um, rear speaker works. A GPS does not uh, or GPS does not work. A GPS does work. USB connecting to computers does not work. Um, suspend resume, which is this lock screen. Um, I don't know if you can tell. But, yeah, there we go. The backlight does not turn off. So while the screen does go black, it, it, will not, uh, it will not actually turn off the display completely. Vibration does, uh, does work. Um, and internal storage does not work. And native booting does not work. What you can do is you can have... Um, there's a cab option that is a dual boot system so when you turn on the phone from a cold 
you know, it's dead, it's off. Um, you, you get a boot chooser whether you want to choose um, Android or Windows Mobile. I didn't install that because I don't find a need for that. I'll just, I use Android as a toy really. So let's unlock. Um, everything looks very nice. Um, there are a few other things I noticed that didn't work that they didn't mention is like the voice search. It says audio problem. Don't know how that's going to be fixed. But, yep. That's that. Um, this stuff looks like got something called P-Terminal that was pre-installed. I guess it's just a terminal application. Um, notification bar, that works. Um, I got an email earlier when it was syncing when I first set it up. Um, I'm not going to show you my personal Gmail or my contacts, but they work. Uh, and I'm using Google Sync to synchronize them. Um, when you hit the the talk key, you know it brings up the call log, but you can always go to the dialer here. Um, you're gonna have to get used to it because um, in Windows Mobile you hit the end key and it goes back to the home button. Here, if you hit the end key, it's gonna lock the display. This button the sleep wake button which would usually be to lock the display if you hold that down it goes into an application switcher mode um, and so you gotta use also you get you know your multiple home screens um, let's see what else pretty much it's everything else is the same uh, you get, you get your Facebook on here and everything. Um, you know, browser, everything is the same. This is um, build 2.1, I believe. Not 100% sure. You can see 3G is pretty fast. So let's, I know Engadget just, oh, by the way, this keyboard, a million times better than the keyboard in Windows Mobile. I was, ex I was trying to, like, just carefully tapping in my information. Then I got bored and I just started thumbing it in. And it was acting like an iPhone keyboard. It was very responsive and very accurate. As opposed to if I did that in, the, um, in Windows Mobile, it would just be garbled letters. So, I'll see if I can do this quick. That was my phone. Gadget.com go. Hopefully it won't load the mobile version. It'll go. And it's loading the mobile version. Um, Bowling gadget experience. Let's see. It's, it do its thing. It's actually really quick. Um, I, I'm going to keep you posted on the Android builds, um, also along with the Sense UI builds, uh, because I'm really excited about Android. If Android comes to a, really a functional standing, I will definitely be using this. I'll load the bootloader onto my phone and use Android as my main operating system and dump on, not dump on, but get, get rid of, um, Windows Mobile. So I'm going to cut it off right here and I'll keep you guys updated.